What's up guys, this is Antoine Goodwin with CNET.com and we're placing our product spotlight on the freshly announced GoPro Hero 3. Now we've got in front of us here the Black Edition, which is the top of the line model. The Hero 3 is about 30% smaller than the previous generation. It's also 25% lighter. When you pop the camera out of its case, it's only 20 millimeters thick. Of course, the case makes it a little bit thicker, but you kind of want that on there for the uh, waterproof and shock resistance that the GoPro cameras are known for, that sort of rugged uh, ability to pretty much toss it on a surfboard or slap it on the side of a dirt bike and not have to worry about your camera or the footage getting destroyed. Now, inside, it's actually got a two times faster video processor. Now, what that does is it actually allows it to crunch more pixels so with the Black Edition here, you can actually capture up to 4K video. That's that ultra high cinema quality HD video at up to 15 frames per second. There's also a slightly lower, but still extremely high resolution, 2.7K resolution that you can capture at it up to 30 frames per second. Now down in the standard high definition resolutions, you also get bumps in your frame rates as well. You can capture 1080p video at up to 60 frames per second, 720 at about 120 frames per second, and if you want to jump down to SD video, you can jump all the way up to a blistering 240 frames per second for some super slow-mo capturing there. Now the camera comes with a new case that's got a new locking mechanism on the top. There's also a new flat lens that covers the glass. Now that's actually going to give you less of that sort of like barrel fisheye distortion, but there's a little bit of that left in because it's GoPro signature look because you've got this ultra wide angle lens that captures about a 170 degree field of view. Now the previous generation of GoPro cameras, you could buy a Wi-Fi backpack that added wireless connectivity to this Wi-Fi remote so you could control up to about 50 cameras with just one little key fob from anywhere within Wi-Fi range. This current generation has Wi-Fi built into it. You can actually pair the camera up with the remote and you get a duplicate of the display. It's kind of cool if you've got the camera on the front bumper of your car and you decide that you don't want to trigger it until you actually get out of pit lane. We've also got a couple of new inputs. Uh, the HDMI connection is shrunk down to a micro HDMI connection here to save space. Your full size SD card slot from the previous generation is a micro SD card. And you've also got a mini USB port that's used for charging and syncing. The new GoPro Hero Black Edition retails for $349 and comes with the case the Wi-Fi remote, and a couple of accessories to kind of get you going on mounting this on whatever you choose to mount it on. There's also a silver edition and a white edition kit that has a slightly slower video processor that loses the 4K and 2.7K video capability and offers slightly lower frame rate caps on your HD and SD video for $299 and $199 respectively. Well, I've been Antoine Goodwin with CNET.com, and we're placing our product spotlight on the freshly announced GoPro Hero 3.